true. A, a lot of sh- I did a, a lot of art is political. So yeah. Well, that, my, a lot of my art is political. There you go. Little Stop. story, okay? I, in 2009, my right, we did. I did uh, oh, Journey of Hope, okay, oh, yes, yes. for the inauguration. Oh, yeah. She's done more okay. beautiful quilts for Obama than well, the, anybody, anybody all, anywhere. Oh my God! Not only did she do them, but we she all inspired all the. Oh, the late, it was a last-minute deal. We had an opportunity Gorgeous. working with Roland Freeman to uh, curate a show mm-hmm. to celebrate the president's uh, inauguration. Right. The show opened 2009 yeah. and in Washington, D.C. at the D.C. Historical Society. Mm-hmm. The quilts were beyond slamming, okay? Mm-hmm. They were, and I wrote a book about that. And uh, I'm still getting hate mail from that show. It was a very difficult show to bend here Ooh, in this country. Really cool <laughs> Every time the show would, um, oh, it was complicated. Every time the show would go to a certain city or whatever, okay, and there was uh, notice in the newspaper about the show. Some of the news, some of the, some of the, even some of the news articles were critical of the show because there's such, there was such hatred of a black man being president. Okay. Well, the um, show was just fantastic. The show is fantastic. It is. However, the public, not in that African American public, okay, but the people outside of the culture, could not separate the fact that that show was not just about Barack Obama being president, but it was a celebration of the people on whose shoulders he stands. It was not a show about politics, okay? It was a show about history, about the people mainly, historic figures. Whose shoulders he did to get there by himself, no, right? Okay? Exactly. So there's historic precedence mm-hmm. for that. So mm-hmm. that's what we celebrated. Right. It was not a show about partisan politics. However, okay. the public took it. And that way. That way. And okay. Mm-hmm. And it was it was a horrendous show to bend mm-hmm. because museums didn't want it. I had directors I'd worked with for 20 years tell me, Carolyn, you can't take that show. And, become. and so did it go anywhere? Else? It went to Japan. It went to uh, the National African American Museum. It went to the DeSalvo. It went to Hampton. So I think it? that was it. Right? It went to Albany. Mm-hmm. Did it? It did not. I don't think I so. I the Black Pockets. You didn't see? No. No, it did not. That was somebody else's show. It was Journey of Hope? The I don't same, know. The same one's in the book. My book? Yeah. I we didn't go to. I, I no? Okay. No, then you're right. <laughs> did we? <laughs> we didn't go there? No. No. Okay. Too much. Auburn? Well, you know. You said Auburn. I was at the Black Caucus and I thought I had seen it there. I saw it in D.C. and right. then I went to Black Office. We tried to get it at the no Black no okay. no that was something else somebody else not us mm-hmm. no too much so and I as I said I'm still getting hate mail about that show every time somebody writes something in the newspaper well, negative mail I'm sorry but sometimes you have to bear these. Yeah. Stars and moons in order to speak the truth and have freedom. And yeah, it's been. We celebrate the freedom to do it. You, we celebrate yes. the freedom to do it, but sometimes it's not easy. No, it's not I, easy. we have questioned Roland and I. And at I least they didn't ignore you. Because no. you could get it. The best way to deal with stuff like this is just act like it didn't happen, ignore it. Yeah, for 50, 60 years. 
But still, you want to get the message out. It's been yeah, you want to get the message out, but sometimes you can't. That's true. You cannot get the message out. But that show. So you got the message yeah, out. Wanted. But some people, you know, what can I say? You have the freedom to do it anyway. So anybody else?